somewhere in the universe. The Earth. The cradle of humanity. The planet was overcrowded because of the massive expansion of the humankind these last 50 years. Cosmic. 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 Some men left their home to discover space, while some others stayed on Earth. Several conflicts have burst everywhere because of the water and raw material refaction. Nations against nations. Nations against private armies. Private armies against private armies. A lot of nations fell, while some others rose. Alliances have been settled, betrayed, and broken. All of this in the interest of the conspirators. Sometimes, hidden for all to see. But fortunately, nowadays, an era of peace has finally come. At least, for now. Well, you shall soon be here. Please honor me and honor the section, right? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Be more formal, idiots. Ha! Huh? Yeah. 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 Well, when he gets here, don't say anything. Don't even breathe. It'll be easier. Understood? Jimbok. Madam, I think that if we don't breathe, we'll die. Are we supposed not to breathe for a long time? I didn't mean literally, Jimbok. So we would be allowed to talk and breathe? That's not very clear, Lieutenant. Okay. If one of you is messing up the General's visit, I'll give him to the others in very small pieces. That clear? Yes, yes ma'am! Good. I'm coming. Get ready. Lieutenant. Hmm? We've just received a message by radio. Guess who's back from their mission? Dummy, do I look like... Oh, no. You are talking about... Those two morons, aren't you? The, they're coming in.
dummy. Hold them back while the general arrives. Grex and Mitchell won't be long, and I don't even know why he's coming. But it's our chance to request some new equipment! Hmm. I will try, Lieutenant. But you know how they are. No one's more defiant towards the authority than them. Let's go! Okay! Speak of the devil. General Gregson Mitchell, this is an un- Spare me trivialities, Lieutenant. I'm not here for this. Take me to your office. With all due respect, we do not have any other settlements in these tents. Let's go. Do not waste my time. Oh, shit, that was close. I told you that it would be fine, dumbass. Besides, Rosie's going to kill us. Guys, you really are insane. Oh, hey, Dumbe! Hey, mission successful. The best are back. So it seems, I've heard it. Shutting down a Filipino cartel. Just the two of us. I know, I know. Amazing. Uh, actually, on your mission order, it was written to support and protect the local workforces carrying food products. Mission orders are for amateurs. You know that, pal. Where is everybody? And why isn't the lieutenant yelling at us? Well, what can I do for you, Lieutenant General Gregson Mitchell? I thought that the Central Command cared about their troops. What an idea! For reasons I can't explain myself. Your section had one of the best ratios in the area, for months. High percentage of successful missions, and almost no losses. I guess you have heard about the scientists who have been kidnapped at the beginning of this week. Yes, an armed group from Venezuela kidnapped several researchers not far from Bogota. That's correct. According to some Secret Service sources, it seems that this group has been hired by the private army of the Favela Brothers and that the scientists are in their hands right now. I want that your two best element to work for us and rescue the scientists. As a support to special forces, my two best just came back from a mission now, but I have some other soldiers who can handle this if you want. No, I want these two guys precisely, and not as a support. I want them to lead the rescue operation. Sir, I know that at the Central Command, you have a nasty habit to consider men on the field, and in particular the soldiers of lost sections like the mine, as cannon fodder. But between you and I, if you believe that I will let you bring my men in a mission with no chance to come back alive, 
You are very mistaken. You don't understand, Lieutenant Tarniviet. This is not a request. It is a direct order. I'd just have to snap my fingers for you to be tried by a court-martial. I would have you replaced within the next 24 hours. They have two hours to get ready. The FBI are better equipped than the three-quarters of the Unica. They could so get there naked, it would be the same. I refuse. Well... <laughs> what the hell are these outfits? For hosting one of the government's Muppets. Or one of the smart asses from Central. <laughs> Wait, you guys should... Ooh! Archers. The special forces from the UNA, no less. Specialized in cleaning the asses of the elite of the army. <laughs> Besides, how much does an arch earn? Ten times our two pays gathered. Huh? What does that mean? Who are these two guys? These are the two soldiers you want to take with you. Whoa. Their equipment is astonishing. My famous has been dying for six months. Danelle? Marx? Let them in. Ooh, they're in sync. Do you think they're taught that at the School of Special Forces? I am the- Yo, Rosie. Mission successful. You owe me one of your naughty underwear. The commander of the Philippines Company is thanking you, Lieutenant. I don't care about the color, but lace is so hot. However, the M430 is out, we have no more air support. It's a bit crappy. Why don't you ask for a grant from the pen pushers of the Central? Shut the fuck up! You have destroyed the half of the campsite and the last vehicle that was working while I'm risking my job for your idiot faces with this damn clown from the Central! Who's this guy? I am the Lieutenant General Gregson Mitchell and- And he wants to send you on a suicide mission as I sir- Oh. We'll be paid as an arch? And why do we get no grant here? Is it true they're here to wipe your ass? I agree for the mission, but... I was told they were completely out of control, but they're... Well, I let you with him. I have been dismissed. What? Dismissed? I quit. Well... So... How old are you? Four? Soldiers! I am the General Officer of the United Nations of the European Common Army. An officer of the Central that comes especially here just for two squatties? It's very suspicious. We will do your job, but you guess that we will negotiate the conditions, General. I have no obligation to negotiate with you, bunch of... You just have to follow the orders. Uh, Gregson Mitchell. I have already heard this name somewhere. You must have very good friends at the Council of the United Nations to have reached this position in spite of your turnaround. But you must already know who I am and what I can do. Right, Lieutenant General Gregson Mitchell? You don't? Okay. You will get some new equipment this week as well as a raise of your annual pay. And I will get both of you a special bonus for the services you will have provided to us. And of course, it means that you remain Lieutenant, Madame Tranivet. Ah, oh, it seems he's a way better negotiator than you. You'll be briefed in the Raptor. That's how everything began. A suicide mission. The routine for guys like us. The minions of the army who are sent where no one else wants to go. These jerks better not die.